All right, so this is the Supreme Lookbook for 2021 spring summer. It's gonna be a long video, you guys, but be sure to know that we do have chapter selections down below. So if you wanna go chapter by chapter by which pieces you're most excited about, be sure to check that out. But I do recommend sticking through the entire video so you know everything that's gonna be dropping. So let's get it. Hey everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel, Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below, as well as hit that notification bell, because this is a big week and you're not gonna wanna miss out on our new uploaded content. As well as be sure to check out that join button. That's right, for those of you who want membership perks, that's where you'll be able to find out all of those additional perks that you get when you are a Shea Gang member, as well as our merch store. Be sure to go and take a look at that. We've got some great items on our website. All right, I feel like I need to take a breath for this. Can I get an air horn, Mr. Producer? Yeah. Yeah, that was my quiet air horn. I need to wake up. It's like, I'm not a morning person today for some reason. It's just like, come on, coffee kicking. But you know what? 6.30 a.m., I was awake on the dot because Drops by Dre told me that uh, Supreme would be dropping. And so there I was on my phone, 6.30 on the dot, checking out the new Supreme Spring Summer Lookbook for 2021. <laughs> I'm so excited for some of these items. I don't want to go through all of them though because we are going to be here for hours. It's so long, but I'm also not going to be late to the punch with this one. I know I was so late getting the lookbook out last year. I'm sorry. Forgive me. But today we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible. I'm not gonna go through every single item. I'm gonna separate these categories um, basically through jacket, shorts, pants, and organize it that way because there's just so many items um, and I think that's the best way to go through it. We're gonna start with kind of like my least excited items that I'm not too like stoked about. We're gonna end with accessories because there's some bangers on there. And uh, we're gonna basically go through this and talk about how I'm gonna be broke probably by uh, the fall. So <laughs> it is looking like we've got some, some good items on here that I know you guys are gonna be excited about. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys are planning on going for. Word has it, this is going to be a tease week. They typically seem to be starting with teas on week one. Uh, so I do think that we are gonna be seeing a lot of teas this week. And I love teas because teas don't hurt my bank as much, which is great. Yeah, gotta save as much as I can. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. My goodness, I'm like, whew, I feel like I need to stretch. Do we stretch it out? <laughs> I'm so tired right now. My body's like not awake. But we are gonna we're gonna do this. We are gonna get into this. I'm gonna start, I think, with pants. I'm excited about a few pairs of pants, but like there's some strange stuff going on here. Like this cans, regular jeans. It's got like a bunch of different cans on it. That's like, uh, I don't know. It's a little, a little corny to me. I'm not that big of a fan of that. Also like I just don't fit Supreme denim that well. So I'm probably gonna go hardcore for more of the sweatpants that they're gonna be bringing out. Uh, but they do have like these really crazy bold prints like that can pant as well as this dashes wall sweat pant kind of looks similar but obviously it's a it's a different design going on here um we've got some clayton patterson skulls they're embroidered on the denim i don't know they're kind of cute skulls they're not like creepy ones so that's like some quirky artsy work going on that denim there um, then we've got the Gore-Tex sticker pant. I know that that's going to go with um, an, a matching top as well. 
it's a little out there. Like there's too many stickers going on. It's it's a lot to take in. I feel like you have to have the right personality to rock that. Um, so more power to you if you can rock the sticker pants with the top to match, but like, my God, it literally would look like you collected all the spring stickers and just like stuck it on your entire outfit. Um, then we got some pleated trousers. I saw some suits in the mix. I don't know how many of you guys are going for suits, but um, suits are one of those tough sellers. I'm sorry, like suits are hard to sell, but I feel like every brand tries to do it and it fails miserably every time. Uh, in the lookbook, actually, I'm trying to see if I see it here. It's like a lime, yeah, it's like a lime, lemon lime suit um it's a cool color i just i personally don't know a lot of people that would like want to buy that so that's a pretty crazy one then we've got these patch denim painter pants in three different color options those are kind of cool it's like you know got some different patchwork going on there in different colors uh again probably not going to go for those though some warm-up pants they're just basic utility pocket sweatpants those are actually pretty cool those and the cargo pants um i really like the floral tapestry print i think it's dope i think the jacket's cool i think the pants could look cool with it i really really like the blue and the pink and cream colorway i think those are probably gonna do the best it's a little bit harder to see that tapestry print on the black unfortunately like on the screen it literally looks like it's just a black pair of pants the gone star sweatpants i don't know that's just like growing on me i think a lot of girls are actually gonna love that especially in the white as the base color like that's a really cute pant and it has the matching top to go with it um i do think that that may be something i will go for i just have to wait and see if it's going to grow on me even more we've got the frayed logo regular jeans you guys already know that that jacket is going to be at the top of people's list um but the deep jeans just the basic denim are pretty cool that coloring scheme with the white supreme on top of that just blue jean denim uh it comes in a red and black as well but i think that denim is going to do the best at the top of the pant list though, for sure, I'm loving the mesh pocket belted cargo pants. I do like it that it's coming in kind of this light pink color scheme. I don't really have pink cargo pants, so I do think that that may be something nice to kind of add to the collection. Sorry guys, gotta get the coffee in here. Um, then we've got a couple of Swarovski, um, items so we've got the s logo sweatpants and that comes in like seven different colors we've got black purple beige blue white red camo you name it like supreme is bringing out every color and pattern for this um i don't know how i feel about crystals though just because when you do wash clothes sometimes you'll lose a crystal here and there and i'm very like ocd about a crystal missing from a letter and i won't wear it after it's gone so I don't know that I'm specifically going to go for it, but I do think it looks cool. Uh, we also have the Spell Out Track Pant, and on the lookbook, this is actually one of my favorite looks that they showed, and uh, it looks like literally on the so side of you, on the side of your body, if you were to pose sideways, you can see the Supreme spelled out massively on the side of the body, which is, it's really cool looking, especially in the white and red. Uh, so definitely that is at the top of the list, but I feel like you should definitely go for both pieces on that one just because of that side profile, how cool it looks. It's dope. Um, yeah, I love this pose of the model. Everything about it is just like, oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Anybody notice the new emoji, by the way, this, this emoji? Am I the only one who just noticed that yesterday? I was like, when did we get this emoji? When did they add that? Anyways, let's move on now. Where should we go? Let's go to shorts. Cause I'm not like super crazy about the shorts yet. Cause I'm not gonna be wearing shorts for a while. Um, but we do have a lot of short options. It looks like we've got like a hurricane water short going on, which is kind of cool. I do like that tie dye kind of print vibe that they've got going there. Kind of reminds me very much of Miami for some reason. It comes in a purple and orange as well as a green, but all of those have like a tie dye effect to it. So they're kind of multicolored. Um, 
Iggy Pop work shorts. We've got some Iggy Pop items. Uh, I'm not like the hugest fan of Iggy Pop. Whenever I think of him, I just think of him being naked all the time. Anybody else think that about Iggy Pop? Like he always has his shirt off and he's always like doing these crazy poses or like pinching his nipples and stuff. I don't know. Uh, he is called the Godfather of Punk. So I get it, like that makes sense. Um, but there are some shorts with his face on it and some other pieces that you guys are gonna see later on. Some hand style denim painter shorts. They're just basic. Uh, looks like we got Supreme on the back of those pants. Uh, then we have some embroidered S sweat shorts. Those are kind of interesting actually. Actually, uh, it's got like the letters that are kind of staggered throughout um, and that comes in five different colors so we've got a red pink a navy a black and a white for that one let's keep moving up here then we have some Michelin Ness basketball shorts I think a lot of people who are Michelin Ness fans like you know the quality of that brand I've got a pair of shorts and a jersey for them and I would not trade it for the world I mean the quality is insane the patchwork, the embroidery on it is just so hands down like top tier. Uh, so I definitely think that the New York one actually, is that the skyline of New York on there? It sure is. That skyline of New York on those shorts is dope. I mean, you guys already see like I love my tapestry coat. So definitely think that those shorts are going to be a winner. Uh, then we've got some small box sweat shorts and you know, they, they seem to be pumping out like a ton of small box logo stuff uh, that comes in eight different colors. So probably depending on whether or not you have other small box logo stuff, if you're going to want to be matchy matchy, that would be a good pick. Other than that, like not much else to say about the short section. There are some other shorts that I didn't mention. Um, but that was kind of a majority of the top ones that I think are going to do pretty well. All right, now let's get into the tops. We have a, the Warp Jacquard logo denim shirt, which is okay, but when you see the actual jacket, the denim jacket that's coming out, like you will for sure want to pass on this just because it's so much nicer. It looks much more high quality uh, than that. We have, let's see here, Firecracker Rayon shirt. I love the rayon material, by the way. Like rayon is incredibly comfortable. I'm obsessed with my rayon shirt that I have in the receipts. I'm not so crazy about the firecracker one, um, but it does come in a, a couple other patterns. <laughs> rayon shirt, which I think you guys have probably seen in the lookbook as well. It's on the jacket. It's that same pattern with the candle and the kind of like glowing on top of that. It is a nice kind of colorway. Iggy pop shirt. Again, probably gonna pass on the Iggy stuff. We have the 190 Bowery Rayon shirt, which I actually love that blue and white one with the pop of yellow. It just really makes that taxi stand out. I don't like the red one as much because the taxi just is kind of blended in with it, but I do love the Bowery one with the pop of yellow on top of that blue. I think it's dope. All right, then we have a plaid flannel shirt, which, you know, it's plaid it's nice it's just got like some simplistic stuff going on I mean you can't have too many flannel shirts let's be real but like I just continuously buy them all the time uh, we have this dancing round shirt which is quite interesting uh, can't tell if that's like a bunch of naked people just kind of like connected to each other probably not my most exciting piece in this section we do have Muhammad Ali and that is growing on me a bit um, it's in a black and red, but I think out of the shirts, my favorite is gonna have to go to this bandana silk shirt. Supreme is launching a ton of bandana pieces and I love bandana print. Comes in a lime green, a red, a brown, a pink, and a black. And I'm definitely in love with that print, in love with that shirt, and it's also silk. So it's gonna be extremely comfortable. Uh, definitely at the top of my list. We do have a dog work shirt as well, which kind of looks like Snoopy on the back, but like not as cute. He's got a longer nose. Definitely looks like a, a knockoff of Snoopy. Uh, it's all right. Definitely think the bandana silk shirt though is way more popping, um, but it's kind of growing on me, this dog. I don't know, he's got a shotgun too. What are you saying, dog? What are you saying on there? I hate losers. <laughs> or wait, I hate losing. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that actually. That's that's a true story <laughs> for me personally. All right, um, let's move on. 
let's go into the t-shirt so this is going to be i think again the t-shirt week so uh i was looking at the t-shirt section i thought for some reason they were going to launch a lot more pieces but um it's not as many as i expected we've got an ear tee which nah, i don't really want to wear an ear a skeleton tee which is kind of cool because it's got a superman suit on with an american flag which i like uh, and then we have this like ratatouille looking um, mouse tee. Sorry, crest tee. It's kind of cool, but uh, probably pass. We have the Prodigy of Mob Deep. I think this is a go if you're a big Mob Deep fan. Um, we have a wind tee, which is kind of interesting. It's got like wind blowing off that Supreme logo, and it kind of looks like it's in a fire coloring scheme, which is cool. Um, then we have the spiral tee, which is dope because it's got different prints on the back here, um, with different brands and sayings in a spiral. It's kind of making me dizzy actually looking at this. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty basic on the front, which I like, which is the simple Supreme on the front in that box. Uh, then we have the five burrows tee, which is pretty simple again with the Supreme on the front. And to my two favorite tees of the mix, the Raphael tee, I mean, uh, Come on, that's like everybody's favorite Ninja Turtle, I feel like, I don't know. Something about you, Raphael. Makes me always wanna eat pizza too. Where's Splinter at? I guess he didn't make the cut for this tea. Uh, but I literally also just saw Ninja Turtles arcade the other day, and it reminded me of the Mortal Kombat one. I'm like, come on, Supreme, do a Ninja Turtles arcade do. Actually don't, because I really just don't have any more room in my apartment. I still haven't put up my Mortal Kombat one. Uh, so still stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out soon. Then we have the water pistol tee, and I think this is fire. It's a sexy as hell chick on there with a water pistol kissing it. And I love this on the cream, the natural color. It is so slick. I have to get that t-shirt. I'm gonna have to get it. Uh, so that's for the shirts. Let's move on and get into the hats. There's a lot of hats. So we have the Finewell Corduroy S logo six panel hat, and that comes in six different colors. It's just got the simple S logo. I mean, I don't have an S logo hat, so I may be thinking about that, but that bandana crusher. <sighs> if I get the other bandana pieces, it's like I, I have to get the matching hat. I just, I have to. <laughs> have to get it and crushers just i'm sorry they they do well they do well all the time um so i see that one actually doing quite well we have a champions box logo new era hat uh it looks pretty cool on the back let's see what we've got it's got different years on the back um probably gonna pass just because of the fit of that i don't know some of these new era hats just don't fit my hair head right i look funny in them so they also have the reverse box logo on there which is pretty cool uh then we've got some beanies i love me a beanie because it's freezing right now in new york i can't walk out of my apartment without wearing a beanie my ears will fall off i swear so the ft P beanie is actually, I love it. I love the print of that. Um, it comes in six different colors. We also have the loose gauge beanie, which is also cool as well. I think I might like the over dyed beanie a bit better than that one, uh, just because of the color options that they have, though they do have some bright neon colors in that, which are going to be great for the summertime. Uh, then we have the bandana camp cat. Ugh. That's a hard one. I don't know if I want the crusher over that. I'll have to decide, but I'm definitely not gonna be getting both, but I do, again, love that bandana print. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, then we have the Cause Chalk logo five panel hat. Everything Cause is going to go crazy. This is the most hyped collab that I've seen uh, in the spring summer collection. And also for those of you who don't know here in Brooklyn, there's actually gonna be a cause exhibition and I just, I need to go. I need to go, but they keep postponing the date. So I don't know when they're gonna finish with that, but that is like a must see. And I need to be wearing cause pieces when I go, I think that are Supreme collabs. I just, I need them in my collection, I do. Then last but not least, we have the new era Swarovski. It looks like it's gonna have crystals on it. S logo beanie, which is going to be nice and flashy for those of you who like that bling bling. Uh, and that's pretty much what we have for my favorite beanies and hats. There are a lot more, but I just don't want to kill you guys going through every single one. All right, what to go with next? Let's go into sweatshirts. So again, we've got that Dash's wall hooded sweatshirts. 
gonna go with the shirt and the pants. If you're looking for that matchy matchy look, go for it. I don't love that print that much, but maybe you will. The Boss Logos hooded sweatshirt, uh, it's okay. I like it. It's simple, nothing that really stands out. I love that natural color, and I feel like the natural color and purple for some reason always do so well, um, but that natural color just goes with everything. Uh, then we have a brush stroke hooded sweatshirt kind of looks like it's been painted with the supreme on the hood there and kind of it kind of looks like tie-dye um, So I could see that potentially doing not so bad, especially in that pink colorway um, World is your hooded sweatshirt. It's all right Nothing, you know standing out to me. Let's go up here. We have the supreme Vanson leathers spider web zip up hooded sweatshirt. This was in the lookbook and I think that this is going to do quite well. It comes to black, a yellow, and a red colorway. We saw it in the lookbook, uh, but I do think that that is a cool, vibrant print. Pretty classic. The Gone Stars hooded sweatshirt. I'm telling you, the ladies are going to love this one. I personally love this one. I don't know why it's growing on me, but that white coloring scheme with the pink, purples, it's like pastel -y. I got to get that full set. I just I need to get that really do don't care hooded sweatshirt let's see what the print is on here it's interesting it's like supreme goes up in like a arc and it's like I don't care so eh, it's all right it's not really like popping that big for me embroidered s hooded sweatshirt with those letters that matches those shorts I was saying that look kind of cool um, it's coming in five different colors all right, let's keep going through here because we have so many. Small box zip up hooded sweatshirt. How many times have we seen that small box? Um, it doesn't do that great. I, I think it's just because it's so hard to see the Supreme box logo, especially if you're a girl, your hair is going to cover that and it's just going to look like a regular sweatshirt. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. It's plain, it's basic. If that's what you need in your collection, then go for it. But for me personally, I think that uh, you're much better off getting something with a larger print on it. Uh, the laser cut S logo hooded sweatshirt. I really like this because the S isn't, it doesn't pop as much as my jacket that you guys saw me in. And it's got that like red with vibrant white S logo on it. This one actually just matches and kind of blends in with the sweatshirt. I do kind of like that yellow and that teal and gray, but it comes in six different color options and uh, it's pretty basic basic sweatshirt here again small box hooded sweatshirt more of those small boxes but in a hoodie version not the zip up um precision crew neck it's kind of cool different print it's pretty basic i love me some crew necks i actually kind of like these colors it's got a hot pink um i do like hot pink for some reason it's just one of those colors i really really go for um then we got the Gons logo crew neck in lots of different colors. Uh, yeah, it's a different, it's a different print. I don't mind it. Then we have the FTP arc hooded sweatshirt, which I think obviously if I'm gonna get that beanie, that would be amazing to go with. We got the Swarovski crystal hooded sweatshirt. If you're looking again for that bling, that's the hoodie to go for. I'm just nervous about losing crystals in my clothes. Again, sucks to lose a crystal. Uh, we got the big logo hooded sweatshirt, which uh, is super dope in my opinion. On the back, it's got that huge Supreme logo going on. I feel like you're going to have to pose like this though to see the whole thing properly because then it looks like Prime uh, with your arms down, but I do like the color options that they're giving us. And last but not least, that Cos logo hoodie. Uh, it's so cool because it's chalk. Uh, I don't know why. I just. I love chalk, but uh, that's that's going to be the winner for sure. It's cause it's got a cool, simple logo, got some great color options. So definitely going to be going hard for that one. All right, moving on. Let's get into jackets. Ugh, fire, 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 fire jackets going on here. Um, <laughs> wool suit pass. Clayton Patterson Skulls gonna pass on that as well. Um, there is this logo camo M65 jacket that I saw in the lookbook, and when you look closer, it's actually really cool. It has that camo look, but the camo is actually made out of millions, it looks like, or thousands, not millions, thousands of Supreme logos. So that's actually pretty dope. 
This Supreme Vance and Leather Spider Web Vest. It's got like a Spider-Man web on the back. I saw it in the lookbook. It's, I don't know. I don't like the cut of it. I don't like the look of it. It just looks very uncomfortable even. Uh, so definitely gonna probably pass on that. Let's go up here. We've got the Gore-Tex sticker shell jacket again to match those pants and shirts. They are loving that, that print. Um, the floral tapestry anorak though, I really like that. I think it's a dope print. Again, I like that cream and pink and the blue coloring scheme on there. Uh, we got Iggy Pop on a puffy jacket. Sorry, Iggy, not giving you much love here. Then we have, it's all bollocks. I don't really say bollocks. I guess it's not really an American terminology that we use so much out here. Uh, it's probably gonna pass on that. St. Michael fleece jacket, interesting. Looks like a church window. Um, I did see the Supreme Mitchell Ness satin varsity jacket and it's growing on me. I really love the front of it, but there's a lot going on the back of this jacket. Love all, trust few, 2021, do wrong to no one. It's, uh, I wish it was more simplified on the back. I literally wish it was just plain, honestly. There's, it's too much going on. Uh, but I love the front of that, so oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go for it or if I'm gonna pass on that. Mesh pocket cargo jacket to match those pants. Then we have the Supreme Vance and Leathers Kedora jacket, which kind of looks dope. Um, I like the red and white one. It also comes in a green and white and a black. Uh, then we have the down jacket. I like that coloring scheme, that teal, um, and the candle and how it's kind of like turned into the uh, but I don't think that that's the top jacket that I'm going to go hard for. The top three are for sure going to follow the reflective zip hooded jacket, which comes in a few colorways. The Gore-Tex past light shell jacket. I think I'm good on Gore-Tex for the year. Not gonna lie. Pretty Gore-Tex out. Uh, but that does come in a couple options for different colors. And then we're getting into my faves. So we've got the bandana fox fur bomber jacket. Uh, I need this. I need this. I need the hats to match it. I need this. It looks so comfy. It comes in a black, a brown, and a pink. I don't like the brown because you can't see the spring because the text is in black. Uh, but I love the black. I love the white print. That's number one. And pink is a strong number two. Fingers crossed I can get one of those. Oh, it's a beautiful coat. Braid logo denim ja trucker jacket is at the top of my list. That denim coat is so fire. Uh, the denim color and the blue with the white is uh, so amazing. Um, that's going to be a hard one to get, but also comes to red and black, but I definitely think that that blue jean denim one is going to just kill it. Um, then we have the spell out track jacket. Again, I said in the lookbook how dope that side profile was with that and the track pants. So definitely if I'm going to get the pants, I'm going to try and go for that top because it needs to be, I feel like a unified outfit. Okay. Now let's get into bags real quick. I probably not going to really be going for bags. Uh, they're doing the canvas backpack again, which I've already got. Uh, I feel like the white and red did way better, honestly, than the black did, but they did keep restocking that on the Supreme website, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did that again. We have the waist bag, which, you know, it's kind of growing on me. We got some four different colors. I actually like that new color that they're, they have in the new collection, uh, but I think the waist bag is probably my favorite out of the backpack and the neck pouch. Then we have a canvas tote, which I already have in the black and white, so it's gonna be a quick pass for me. We do have some bandana print in different bags. So we have a duffel bag, small duffel bag, a large duffel bag. I, I don't like duffel bags personally, so I'm gonna pass on that. Then we have the bandana tarp bag. I'm just not really feeling the bandana bags. The clothes I love, but for some reason the bags, I'm just like, eh. I could pass. We have a sling bag in the colors too. It looks like that red and black camo, the nude, the black, and the blue. But again, I think I like the fanny better. Uh, so for the bags, this vampire boy waist bag, uh, that's gonna be a no, sorry. No, no, don't want that. Uh, the zip tote's okay. Um, again, I think I'm good on totes. So I'm probably gonna pass on the bags uh, for the collection coming out, except maybe that waist bag, but we'll see. Okay, so now let's get into the skate deck. So basically 
The skate deck that I'm most looking forward to is the Cause Chalk logo skate deck. I want it in every single color if I can get it. The 190 Bowery is dope as well. Um, but those are probably the two top ones that I like the most. We've got the stickers deck, the Vampire Boy, and I'm just gonna have to pass on those. I'm not too stoked about them. For sure though, that Cause Chalk logo skateboard. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful and it's in pink, which would match my camo deck. Where is that? Never mind. We'll show that later. But definitely gonna go hard for that. Okay, so now let's get into the most exciting items for me personally, which are the accessories portion. So we have some umbrellas, not so excited about that. Uh, we've got an iPhone case, already got an iPhone case, I'm good on that. There's a Supreme Summit self-inflating sleeping mat, which I think is actually cool, but I just, I don't know what I need that for. I'm not doing sleepovers, I'm not going camping, but I do think that's cool if you're like a camper. Uh, and that comes in three different colorways, a camo, a red, and a black. Uh, we've got a bike pump. If I had a bike, that would be dope, but I don't have a bike. Uh, we have a leather key swoop, which is kind of nice. I just don't know if I need any more keychains. I really like this beer mug. I don't know. It's like got that floral print. Uh, it kind of looks like the chinaware that you would get, you know, for like a nice tea party of some sort. So it's kind of growing on me. I might get that mug just to add to my mug collection for you guys to drink out of when I have coffee. We have a bodyboard. If I still live by the beach, I would so go for that. I'm good on water bottles, you guys. There's water bottles dropping, but I just I don't need any more. I have no more cabinet space in my kitchen. It is literally when you open it i feel like everything's gonna fall out on top of me so i need to stop with the hoarding the water bottles i'm ending that now <laughs> then we have the supreme chini nils kaboluche table lamp i may have butchered that butchered that word uh, it's kind of a cool looking lamp but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did go to the site and that's like a 400 dollar lamp like pass i already got my other floss lamp i think i'm good on lamps but it's a cool concept. Then we have the kite, the Supreme Kite. I don't know where I'd fly that kite, but I like it. Some crew socks, Supreme crew socks. I'm probably gonna go for that because I'm a sock whore, so don't be surprised if I suck up on some Supreme socks. We shall see. Uh, then we have this manual carton cut cutter. I get so many boxes, so I'm of course gonna go for that. Uh, we have the chain lock. Don't know if I'm gonna use that for anything, but it is cool. We have the Supreme Squirt PS4 Multi-Tool. Definitely gonna get that. Always could use a multi-tool. That's what my grandpa always told me when I was growing up. Don't forget your multi-tool, hun. I'm like, all right, Gramps, I got you. We have this Wolven Chase Lounge Chair. I feel like I just wanna get it so I can put it up on my rooftop so I can like sit next to my pole on that. That would be dope. Uh, then we have the Supreme Akai MPC. I don't DJ and I know that those are extremely expensive. So unless you're a DJ, like I don't know who would want to buy that. Um, I think it's cool. It's just, I'm not going to have any use for it, unfortunately. Then for those of you who didn't get your class ring, we have the Jostens world famous champion ring. I actually still have my college Jostens ring. Um, God, where is that though? It's somewhere love to show it to you guys I just don't know where it is but they have a supreme version which is pretty dope then we have the Mophie power station that's pretty cool as you guys know I already have a Mophie from supreme this one looks more thin though so I may have to go for it just for saving space then we've got some mini cans or spray cans I don't know what I would use that for but they are cool uh, I'm extremely excited about this Yashica MF1 camera because that's a 35 millimeter and I've been looking for a film camera it comes in black and red you can't go wrong with that then we've got some supreme hanes boxer briefs yeah could definitely use some of those or how about some wheaties that's right they are coming out with wheaties and that is wheaties always had the best commercials i feel like and they always had the best people on the boxes so i feel like you have to go for this box you have to uh then we have the supreme psycho marathon clock this is a pretty cool clock thinking about it thinking about getting it i have room on my desk for it Oh God, this, the sea do jet ski. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this would be so dope to unveil this on the Hudson river, but like, who am I freaking kidding? Where am I going to put that? Where in the world am I going to find room for this? There's no, there's no way, but it's so cool. 
It's so cool. Makes me wish I had a house on the water. Unfortunately, uh, I, as dope as I think it is, I just probably not going to be able to get that. Uh, then we have the aluminum die set, which is so cool. It's going to go with my cards. Um, so excited about that. We have the logo Zippo, which I have already. Uh, the Supreme Vitra Panton chair is so cool, so artsy. But that chair is going to be around $400. Let's not kid ourselves. And I have no room. I love my folding chairs because I can like fold them up. You cannot fold this chair. It is not a city chair. Um, but if I had a home, oh, that would be so beautiful. So beautiful. It's so unfortunate because I don't have space for it, but I do love it. Then we have the Nerf takedown blaster. Come on. I need both of these colors. And I will literally wager on doing a Nerf war with all of you out there. Who's in? Who's game? Should we have a Nerf war with our Supreme takedown blasters um then we have the smig mini refrigerator i love those fridges from that brand but i think i'm gonna have to get it <laughs> i'm gonna put beverages in that in my little office space somewhere and last but not least the supreme rawlings chrome maplewood baseball bat you could always use a baseball bat especially as a weapon it's always used as a weapon in movies so why not make it a supreme one all right, you guys, that is it. This was a long video. I hope that I gave you as much insight as possible on the lookbook for all the items that are gonna be dropping. Let me know again in the comments below what you guys are most excited about. As well as be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. These thumbs ups really help the video, so I do appreciate when you leave me a thumbs up, as well as hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out. Don't want you guys to miss out on it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as check out our new membership perks and our merch store. We will see you later this week for some more Supreme.